Hey everyone, Sketch Card Hive here. So today we're doing a mail day. So we got a little bit of a different setup. We'll have some uh, more videos in on how I'm doing this. See if we can go ahead and get some better lighting in here too. So um, yeah, a little bit of a new setup, but I will have a video to talk about all that very soon. We'll upgrade the cameras in a minute, but today, 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 today we have a long awaited mail day that I have been very much neglecting my mail and a lot of good friends sent me thanks. Um, and a lot of updates have happened uh, and will be happening to the channel and uh, well, whatever else craziness that should come from this. So let's go ahead and dive into mail day and I'll talk about what's been going on with me and uh, we'll see how this is going. So I got this stuff from my buddy Hermit, who is just the best if you don't know him make sure to follow him on Instagram. He's awesome. Uh, he sent me amazing Dragon Ball Z stuff. So let's see what he got. So he sent me some extra cards. I promised to get me some extra cards here, which was really nice of him. He sent me a, gra a Gambit Red Prism. That is way too nice of him. Thank you, buddy. 47 out of 199. Thank you, buddy. That was very nice. But I'm excited to also see these Dragon Ball Z cards, which I know a little bit about Dragon Ball Z. I'm not super uh, super knowledgeable on it, but my favorite character is Trunks. I know, he's not bald or silver. Threw you guys for a loop, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know, these look awesome. And uh, I don't know how rare these are, but I don't care. I'm actually very much in love with these. And uh, there's a bunch of Trunks here. Is he going to try to get me to character collect trunks? Of course he is. Yeah, he's going to do that. Okay, that's sick. That's fine. I deserve it. I got him to character collect too, so it's only fair. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to penny sleeve those and put those off to the side. Let me make sure microphone's not going in so we can do that. Otherwise, this will be a voiceover event, but we'll see how that goes in a minute. Okay. One mail day down. So we got one mail down, not the whole day, but let's go ahead and look at this. Not sure who this is from. Let's go ahead and get trash can. This one is going to be a mess. Oh, okay, so this is cool. So we're going to go ahead and reveal this here. Um, what people don't know a lot of is that um, there are first edition Marvel cards, and they exist in the versus system uh, category. Okay, it's actually pretty awesome. And I don't see these often ever. Um, I've collected a few. They're hard to even get foils and they're hard to really kind of like just find in good shape. I think this is a 10. Um, they gave it a nine, but I'm pretty sure that's because they're not entirely sure how to be grading these. But let's go ahead and can't zoom in there. Let's get some light on that. There you go. A little bit better. So that's a foil. First edition Silver Surfer. First, first edition Silver Surfer TCG card. It's pretty sick. It looks good. I like it. Let's check out. Okay. StreamYard, I am double checking, making sure I don't like the quality of that too much, but there it is. First edition Silver Surfer versus system card. It's super shiny and cool, so. Let's 
So yeah. Bear with me. There you go. That should be better. Anyway, I think this is amazing. So super happy to own that. Um, super, super happy to own that. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep these sunglasses in here because my boy Herman style rules. Um, thank you again for those Dragon Ball Z cards. I really like them. All right, done. Okay, what else we got here? Let's see. Oh, uh, this is the Did I lose. I lost my. That would make fun of me. Lost my wrist blade. Okay. Well. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let's go and check it out. All right. So we got the beginnings auto. The Beginnings Series 2, Series 2, Volume 2, Series 2, and we got the Ron Lim Auto. I overpaid for this greatly, but it's nice, and I really like it. So the signature's really clean, too. Not bad. I'll buy a couple of these, but at this price, he sent it to me in a top loader that's Boeing. So a lot of top loaders, when you buy them from Amazon, they actually bow. As you can see, this one is bowing quite a bit. Trash. Because they warp your car, especially with the signature. The signature will start losing its uh, strength and integrity. But this is what the car looks like. Silver Surfer, Ron Lynn, very cool, turned over. Congratulations, Bubba. Same style as the originals, which is lovely. No COA card because they actually changed the text here. So that accommodates that change in that COA is actually incorporated into the back of the card. I love it. It's awesome. Someone asked recently, like, why this issue? I think it was Rohan. And, you know, I reread the issue to look at it and kind of like, oh, yeah, it's kind of weird him finding Rhino. But it's actually a really great piece because it's the issue where Surfer makes the decision to join the fight against Thanos, right? It's kind of like one of the things that causes him to push forward. And uh, I don't know. I really like it. It's really cool. So awesome. Uh, let's keep going. So <sighs> holograms, 1994 holograms, any holograms. When you're looking at color variations for holograms, make sure you... Um, understand that you might get screwed trying to buy this on eBay. Okay, this was supposed to be a totally red hologram. And as you can see, hopefully, if I get the light on, perfect. It is not totally red. It is green, some red, some orange, but it is not totally red. It is not centered. It's not what I was hoping to pay for. So there's that. That's okay. Get a little bit of an extra one for the set. I like doing that anyway. All right, let's see. What's this next one? Oh, we got our boy Brian Stanley here. What the hell did I buy from Brian Stanley? I do not remember. Nothing. This was a long time ago. Brian, totally forgot. Okay, empty box. Let's keep going. Now, if you see a saber tooth thing in here, it is because I am also holding cards for my buddy Graydon. And oh no, who did this? Oh, that's cool. Who sent me all of that? This can't be mine. Is this for Graydon? Did someone send me that? Ah, uh, shoot. Um, okay, I totally forgot who sent me this. If it's for someone, if it's for Graydon, I'll ask him. But if it's for me, it's a gift. Thank you so much for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's actually really cool. I need a great actor and a great character in the series. Damn. Um, sick. Thank you. And Kawhi Ganja is so cool. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. Man, I wonder who sent this. Nick. Maybe it was Nick. Damn. 
I gotta go through my stuff and look. Um, okay, let's look at this. Ah, so I gave someone, so Dan DeSantos has been doing the autos for me every once in a blue moon when I'm over there at the house. And he was nice enough to um, do some other ones for friends, people who've been asking for them. It's like, hey, can Dan sign this card for me, blah, blah. And did this for our buddy Nicholas. And um, he sent me a gift, which he did not have to do. You know, I get those for free. I don't charge for them. If Dan's available when I'm at the house, I do them for people. Um, but he sent me some cards, which is which is really too nice. And, and it wasn't necessary of him to do that. It's a very sweet, kind gesture, and I appreciate it a lot. Actually, he sent me some really cool stuff. Seriously. Oh, wow. This is Captain Marvel, who is an actual great character. And in Premiere. This is sick. And it's a number card. Why would he send me that? Number 15? You didn't have to do that, Nicholas. Why'd you do that? Ah, well, this is very nice of you, man. That's really, really nice. You did not have to send that to me. I actually really love that, too. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, figure that situation out. Get him something. Because that's way too nice. That's too much. Um, but I'll hit him up. He says some other cards, too. Really great looking cards. Uh, Flare, Mystique, which is like one of the best cards in the set. If you don't know, you should know. Electra, which is pretty cool. I actually love this one. Spire Buddy. I think this is Brad. Right? Yeah, Ben. Keep saying Brad. Ben, oh, Ben Braddy. You rock, man. I love this piece. Invisible Woman. Ooh. That's cool. Man, I'm excited about Fantastic Four. Did you guys see the SDCC stuff, man? I found that leaked to video and ran. Ran. Ran to watch. It was so cool scene. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but you see something incredibly amazing and surfer related. Not surfer, but surfer related. Awesome. Um, oh, cool. I don't have one of these. I believe this is the Canvas Rogue Fred Ian 161 out of 299. This is actually a great rogue. Uh, one of the better rogues I've ever seen, actually. Oh, man, thank you so much. That's really too much. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tag you back on that one because that was way too cool. All right, let's keep going. I think this is something I'm really excited about. Yeah. So we'll save this one for later. We'll save Ryan's for later. What is this? Oh, cool. These are cool. So there's these magnets, uh, which you know are card size, but I actually didn't have this one. I didn't have this official magnet. The superheroes die cut magnet I actually didn't have this one um it's very cool this is actually the same surfer that's on the card size magnet you guys know what i'm talking about and i'll show that one super here soon um but it's actually really cool and still sealed in the packet so it has the punch it's not punched out which is really cool and rare really cool so this is this is nice this is part of the surfer collection the card size close to card size type of stuff, which is always exciting. Let's move this light a little bit away here. There you go. A little bit better. Okay, so we got that we're gonna hold off on. <laughs> we got something from Tony Perna, so that's exciting. So we'll see what that is in a minute. Um, <laughs> we'll leave that for last. Uh, so we got that, got that. I think I'm gonna hold off showing this. Um, stuff is happening with this package, which I'm very excited about. So I'm not going to show you. I think that's going to be for me, keeping something back for me. Uh, Ryan, our buddy, Ryan Humphrey, who is the Deadpool collector, Chimichanga. And if you've seen what uh, Deadpool ring, which was awesome, by the way, totally saw it. It was fantastic. I'm really excited about it. And, um, I just had a good time watching. You know, it was a fun, entertaining movie. That's what it was. Logan himself I mean, the man you jackman is a god you know you can just no no other actor 
other than maybe Michael Keaton can really embody a fictional character and make it their own the way he did. Like it really, you know, you got Heath Butler's Joker, which is also iconic. You know, I would same kind of leak as Logan, as Hugh Jackman's uh, Wolverine, but I don't know. I don't know. There's something really, really heartfelt about Hugh Jackman's betrayal as that character. It just feels sincere. You know what I mean? It feels like there's a lot of love there. Well, this was sent from my buddy Ryan. So this is the Scott Young, Scott Young, Scott Young um, surfer pin, which is awesome. I don't think I have this. So that's very kind of him to get. I think this was an exclusive of the con. I should buy the mini statue. I don't have it yet. But I actually really, really love it. And it's sick. That's actually cool. So I might be buying that statue. Hold me incredibly broke right now, though. Um, everything's been so expensive on the surfer side. Update to that to collection very soon. I'm not selling anything, but I am going to rethink the later years uh, post 2014. You know, Marvel Cards has gone in a really crazy direction lately, as you've seen with Fanatics and Upper Deck officially. Well, officially, officially. It's been in articles and everybody kind of knows that fanatics will be taking over the Marvel license and doing Marvel cards. A lot of people are like the apocalypse. A lot of people are thinking this is exciting. I don't know where it's going to land. I won't know until one or two things start happening, which I am assuming will be happening after they're done. After fanatics is done talking about wrestling, I'm sure this is going to kind of start in September, November, maybe where we start figuring out what fanatics is true intentions with Marvel cards is going to be. But I'm excited to see a few things happen with Marvel cards, and I'm not entirely sure what those things are, but I know they're going to be exciting when they happen. Um, but we'll be doing a lot of things on this channel to kind of just enjoy each other's company, open cards, have fun, not necessarily stress out about value, but actually looking at the cards, the design, the hard work that people put into them. And we'll enjoy them that way. So we got our very kind of uh, Ryan Humphrey to send me a extra set of the uh, X Men '97 cards, which I'm really happy about. Um, this was a set that was given out exclusively at San Diego Comic Con by Upper Deck in a sealed pack. So in a sealed pack, you get a full set, which is amazing, and then you either got a silver or gold parallel of one of the cards in this set. So let's take a look at them. We got the whole team, awesome, right off the bat. Cyclops, who very much is a badass, and everybody kind of got checked themselves before they uh, decided to make an opinion about Cyclops again, because he's the man. I'm tired of people trashing him. Just, just think it's, you know, not cool. It's just not cool. Um, we got Jean Grey over here, who's awesome. Goblin Queen in these cards would be cool to see, like the villains that they did a villains revision. This Wolverine is fantastic. It's perfectly done. I love it. The Gambit's awesome. I have a soft spot for Gambit. I don't collect him hardcore because I don't think my wallet would ever forgive me. Rogue, beautiful. Oh, Rogue is great. Beast, our boy David, who collects him. Dave, Dave. Amazing. Uh, Storm, gorgeous. Gorgeous Mohawk Storm. Magneto, fantastic character. Oh, passed you there a little bit. Ah, Bishop. I should have gotten one of these cards signed by the actor. I actually didn't go to San Diego Comic Con. A lot of things happening in my personal life that didn't allow me to get up out of there. But I think next year will be my first time going. So that would be really cool. Um, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, Jubilee, which is a great character. One of my favorite X Men, actually. Top three. Um, who else do we have? Morph was just so much fun. I feel like Morph gave us all every other character we wanted to see in X-Men um, because we got to see so many cool characters that otherwise were not in X-Men because of Morph. So he's definitely the MVP of X-Men 97, in my opinion. Uh, Roberto da Costa, Sunspot, right? This was such a cool character to introduce into the X-Men. And I think the X-Men always does better when they have a new recruit. You know, when the X-Men movies first came out, Rogue was that new recruit getting to know everybody. Rogue was a weird choice because she really is kind of like a staple character. So to her have her as a new X-Men was a little wonky. 
Um, even though I love those movies and they're great, I think Rogue was a really hard sell as a new character, as a teen character, even though her powers kind of suggest that CW-esque kind of like uh, vibe and emotion to the story. But Master Sinister, Master Sinister was a great character in this series. Um, I was surprised they did so much with him actually, which is really cool. And then the Sentinel, that's really cool. They didn't go with the main villain probably because they didn't want to do any spoilers, probably because they weren't sure on the characters or didn't want to do certain things. But the backs have a very nice write-up of all of them. I haven't read them all yet. Very cool. So this looks like a 15 card set. Sentinel seems to be the 15th card. The team up is number one. It says 2024 X-Men 97 convention exclusive. So these are something to collect. They were only at the convention. They're going to be very rare. They're very nice. I think a lot of people would be smart to get a CGC 10 set of this and kind of, you know, get a full set in a 10. I think that's a good way to go about it. Base sets are eventually going to get super cheap. And I think you can kind of enjoy that set a lot more. Haunting for it and its rarity. And the way to make these rare, if that's what you're looking to do, is to get a full 10 graded set. Um, I'm just happy to have the set. I'm going to put them in a binder, keep them off to the side, and enjoy them that way. But I think it's really cool. So, Ryan, you rock. Thank you, brother. Very cool. All right. So, Tony Perna sent this. <laughs> so, the, if you didn't know, we were on a live, and Tony on the live asked me if I had written a book. And I was like, I've written, I've had things published, but never an entire book with an agent or anything like that. But I was working on a book uh, for the Surfer Collection, and I'm doing something now like that, which hopefully looks cool. If I'm the only person to read it, that's fine. Um, but I don't know. So he sent me this. So <laughs> the spot is Tony Perna, and it's amazing. And I will now have to edit that out but roses are red violets are blue i'm not going to read the rest thank you tony thank you elena you guys are awesome um the real jacket cover that he made for the book is not this, this is what the actual book is but tony did this writing the silver ray the silver wave faust of iron mobile got the spelling right better than any uh better than a lot of other people <laughs> but there you go Perna Studio logo. God, I love this man. And this is the thing he wrote on the back of the book. This book is about my journey as a Silver Surfer collector. I have a lots. I have lots of cards. I love that. Lots and lots of cards. He's not wrong. My collection is enormous. He's not wrong about that either. Learn about my humble beginnings and where it all started. Feel the joys and pains of my collecting. I'm not the most prolific collector, but you'll read about the triumphs and downfalls of my collecting experiences. Read about the traps in collecting and the financial burdens it may cause you <laughs> may cause for your for you and your loved ones. I'm here to share my experiences with you, and I hope you get something useful out of it. Probably would not have been far off. Uh, publishing 2024, limited edition. Thank you for that. Have a happy, I love that. Uh, be kind to your fellow collectors. The joy you get from your collection is the same joy they get from their collection. True, true. A lot of people like to, uh, <laughs> this is such a, I, you know, only Tony would do something like this and have it be funny and yet extremely sincere. I absolutely love this. He also wrote a little index inside. This is where he was really getting, I was like, did he like, how did he, what is this stuff? But there you go. It's the best. New beginnings. That's my PC. Meet the creators, my fellow creators. To slab or not to slab. Yes, the ice man cometh. My journey into being confused. You know, everyone at first thought I was an ice man collector, and it took a long time. The cosmic journey. The blind <laughs> helps me see. To me, my cards. He's not wrong. That's actually awesome. I should get that website. Anyway, that was a good idea, Tony. Um, I'm a herald. You're a herald. It's true. We're all heralds of someone or something. Tender moment, maybe. A fantastic discovery, it is. The, deliver, <laughs> the devourer of finances, that's Marvel cards in my world. So that's it's not too far off. Zen, la, 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 la. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Introduction, I am Norn Red. 
you know what? I think I'm going to copy and paste this because I'm absolutely in love with it. And it's a smoothie book. So homie's going to be making some smoothies because I'm actually, I don't drink coffee. I drink smoothies. There's a little tidbit. Um, I can't show the card because of Tony, but it's a great card. So there's that. Um, yeah. So there's my mail day. Thank you all so much for uh, joining me on that. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys joining me and uh, I hope to see you all soon. I'll do a live probably Thursday or do something soon, but keep character collecting. I'll see you guys and uh, have fun. Bye everybody.